Hey guys, welcome back. I'm back at it, at least for a little bit again this evening, as I tackle one of these projects that I've been looking forward to for a long time. Check it out. All right. As what you're looking at here, obviously one, I failed at Garage Tetris, or at least I'm losing, but I'm winning because check this out, this is a hard top for my Jeep, which is a pretty good score, I think. Uh, it is awesome. I mean, this thing is classic, old school, uh, Meyer top from way back in the 60s when these things were made. I picked it up, uh, I got a pretty good deal on it, but I picked it up off of a guy that bought an old Jeep that was stashed out in a barn and he, he didn't want the top. And, it had been sitting there run, not running for a long time. So I was really happy to pick this thing up. It's cheaper than a soft top. I, I really wanted a soft top, but yeah, I got the hard top. And uh, this thing is it's cool, but it's not mint yet. It it's gonna take a little bit of repair before I can put it on the old Jeep. And I gotta try to get creative because this one dude is not gonna be able to make that thing land on that, uh, at least not very easily. So I think I got a plan for that as well. Follow along today. As we get this old uh, Jeep hard top uh, tooled together and set up and ready to go on the Jeep. All right, you guys remember the last thing I did on the old Jeep was I installed this heater in there and it works like a champ. I mean, that thing rips. It's kind of useless though with the uh, top, no top on the old Jeep. And uh, especially with kind of the weather we've been having here in Colorado lately. Hey, -o, there we go. And it's like single digits cold out there too. That's why I got the furnace cranking in here, but uh, we're gonna make the best of it. I got this top, that way I can drive this thing year round. So follow along here. Let me show you what I've got going on with it. You can see right back there, uh, I've got the doors, the back hatch for it. I've got a bag of parts over on the workbench that include uh, some of the special parts that bolt to the side of the windshield for the doors to mount and all the hardware to get this thing buttoned up. Uh, and it is almost ready to go on. I got a couple things I need to sort out with it, and this is probably the best way to show it here. Let's see. I got a couple little things like this. is This hole here is torn. That's going to need a little patch up and sewn up. Uh, and then also on both sides of the rear hatch, I've got this going on right down here. Uh, you can see where it, maybe somebody tried to weld it once, do some booger welds in there, but it's kind of broken free right there. And it's, uh, you can see right there, and on that side, it's doing the same thing where it's kind of breaking. So I need to get in there and I need to pull these sides off and to do a little bit of metal repair. That shouldn't be too hard to clean that up. I might be able to salvage what's, what's there. If not, I'll just cut it off and break me a new piece of sheet metal that goes in there. Uh, this is pretty good, pretty good thick stuff. I can, I can do that. Um, and then, right, because uh, I'm only one man and that's pretty big, I gotta figure out how to get it on the Jeep, but I think I can do that with these sides off. I think what I'll do is I'll just put them on the Jeep and clamp them into place. And then that lid up there might be manageable where a guy can get under it and kind of throw it and land it up there or something. Now I'll get up there and try to set it on top of those. Get everything in place, bolt it together, and then uh, tie it into the windshield and whatnot. And then I got a little bit more restoration to do on these doors. Uh, there's a few. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to paint them. I'm probably not even going to paint them. Eh, maybe. Maybe do some touch-up. Fog them. Fog them with some white paint. And that what we say? We fog something when we don't really want to paint it real well. We just kind of want to spray it a little bit. I'll do that. And I also need to break into the inside. And I need to grease up the tracks and stuff where the, uh, uh, for the windows. And the uh, mechanism inside there. Because they're kind of hard to roll up and down. So, I've got my work cut out for me. But uh, how I'm going to get started on this is I'm going to just come right in here and I'm gonna undo bolts. And I think at some point somebody welded this, this side to the top right here is all. It's just tacked there and on that side, probably to keep it from flexing when it's on. Uh, but no big deal, I'll cut those welds, unbolt it, and I'm gonna pop those sides off. That way we can get them over on the workbench and we can start tackling that metal repair on them. All right guys, I got it all ripped apart. That was pretty easy, uh, just as planned. And here's what we're working with. You can see what's going on here. Here is the uh, driver's side, top part of that, uh, that was all cracked and broken apart. And you can see 
somebody tried to lay a weld in there at one time and it it just didn't work and you can see how that kind of fits in there and it, it broke all in these places here now a, a guy could probably come in here and start cleaning this metal up real good getting the rust and junk out patching this in and stitch weld this all back together a guy could do that but I, i'm not going to uh, that that would be uh, i think i'd just be fighting that Instead, I got some of the same gauge of sheet metal. I got a couple pieces I had to dig through my scraps. Thankfully, I never throw anything away. But I'm gonna build me a piece that'll probably, oh, you know, about this wide. It'll come down and then down in here and I'll, I'll probably butt weld it in there. Yeah, yeah, I'll just butt weld it all in there and tie it up. So I gotta get my uh, scissors, my cardboard, do the little arts and crafts time come up with some pieces that'll match that uh, some templates I should say and then uh, start start cutting I'll bring it back in a little while alrighty guys I'll give you a quick update of how we're doing here this bottom end if you remember this piece was flopping in here had a couple extraneous holes punched through it there so I filled those tacked this all into place here kind of cleaned it up it, it made it a lot more rigid and that's good and now I got to come down here and do this piece Okay, I got my little template cut out and it's gonna fit in here about like this. But that's what I'm gonna patch in there. Tack that all in. And then I'll probably come in here on the inside and do a little extra support, maybe do a double on it. So, it's dinner time now though, so I'm gonna go inside, make some dinner, feed the kids, and I might be back out tonight, we'll see. All right guys, dinner's over. I jumped back out here and I started just grinding away on this thing. Uh, well, figuratively and literally. I cut out my piece, uh, which you can kind of see the outline is about like like that. Welded it in here and here, uh, along there, ground it down smooth. Uh, that's good, that's no longer cracked there anymore. I think what I'll do is I'll come in back behind and I'll probably lay another strip of metal right along there and just weld that in there because obviously there's a lot of, a lot of tension on that right there, so. I got this side buttoned up and it's ready to go on. Now I gotta come in here and do this side next, which it's pretty late tonight, so I'm not gonna get that done. Anyway, it's there. It's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I gotta fog a little paint on there uh, later and we'll get that guy finished up. But that's it for tonight. I'm gonna come back out tomorrow as soon as I can, chop out that other side, get that blended in. And I really want to get this top on this thing so I can get out driving it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, it's the next day. I'm back out in the garage. I might be wearing the same thing I was wearing yesterday. I don't know. I don't get out much right now. Uh, here's where we are. I finished up the uh, driver's side yesterday. And I uh, got it all patched in. I noticed as I was moving things around last night that it's also cracked right here. So I'll, I'll just clean that up and I'll weld that up in a little bit but we gotta go over here and do the passenger side and looking at it I thought you know maybe I could I could probably beat that into submission and just weld that back up and then I looked in there and I saw that weld I thought goodness look at that uh, somebody once attempted to fix it uh, and that is a good booger weld that's a good one so I'm gonna cut that out I'm gonna cut this piece off probably do the same thing I did with that piece on that that right there where I I split it right here and then I put a little patch in like this that bent over and drill a hole in it match it up anyway that's what I'm going to do
All right guys, so that's pretty much how my patch is made. You can see what I cut out and you can see what fits in here. I need to go clamping it in, but, but that's it. It'll, it'll fit in there. You'll just have to take my word for it. Now it's time to stitch it up. Let's do it. All right, guys. Here it is, tacked into place. I got a pretty good gap there, but that's that's no problem. We'll fill that in. That just guarantees good penetration. Uh, it's pretty well flush in there. I think we'll be able to get it pretty close to not being able to tell. Uh, so yeah, boring now. I just got to go in here and do about a thousand tack welds all the way around there. I'm gonna hit it with my air compressor, the air hose, psh, to cool it down, and I will bring you back when she's all finished. Okay, so just a quick one for you guys here. Uh, if you guys haven't seen me do my little metal patch repair before, if you missed out on all the fun I did on the Model A, uh, here's what it looks like. It's ugly, right? I just take my little welder, and again, it's just it's a Hobart uh, 140, you know, plug it into the wall, easy. And uh, I run actually CO2 in this thing. You might ask, wow, why do you run CO2 in there? Is there some sort of secret? Uh, well, it's cheap. It's cheap. It's way cheaper than the Argon mix. So. Uh, just chew on that CO2 it does a pretty good job I'm happy with it and I uh, literally have never refilled that bottle and I've done a lot of welding with it so anyway this is what you do man I just hit it about one two three four five air hose cool it down hit it one two three four five air hose over and over and over again until you come up with this and now I'm gonna come in with my grinder I'm actually just gonna use a regular old stone wheel on it and uh, grind away all these big, just, you know, the, the high parts of all these big nasty welds. I might see some pinholes. And if I do, I'll just do the same thing. Hit them, grind them. And then my finisher will be that flap wheel. My secret recipe for flap wheels, Harbor Freight 120. Buy the cheap ones. You get what you pay for with flap wheels. I've got expensive, i got cheap. You get what you pay for. I buy the cheap ones. I go through them faster, but they're cheaper, so whatever. Anyway. I'll do that, I'll flap wheel it, and when I'm done with that, I'm gonna call it good. Hopefully that looks as good or better than the other side, and we'll be ready to prime this baby. All right guys, we're back. I uh, got it all done, I think. It's, uh, it feels pretty good. It was easy, it was flat, you know, no, nothing tricky to it. Uh, it's not perfect, but then again, I gotta tell myself this, uh, I'm not trying to win the Riddler Award, this is just a hunting rig. So, you know, you can see on the back, I didn't care too much knocked off the sharp stuff, but I'm just gonna hit it with some primer. And then I've got to decide how motivated I'm gonna be, whether I'm gonna paint the whole top, or if I'm just gonna primer and touch up these areas and then save the paint job for later when I can tear this whole Jeep down and paint the whole thing. So uh, that's it, I'm gonna call that for tonight uh, for metal repair 101 on the old Jeep top. I'll bring you back next time and uh, hopefully we'll be assembling this bad boy and sticking it on the Jeep. But uh, I appreciate you guys' support. Do me a favor, follow along, hit the uh, subscribe button, ring the bell, tell a friend, uh, or not. I'm having a good time doing this anyway. See you on the next one.